Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I was gonna do a video about like what you should bring and what you shouldn't bring to uni, but a lot of people have already done that. One of these girls that I watched did it, so I just figured there's no point in me doing one because there's already so many out there. I'm just gonna tell you what I experienced at my uni, in my C, things that I never hope to see again. And I'm praying you guys never get to see this unless it's something that you do. I'm not judging anyone. If you wanna do these things, that's your own thing. But me, I don't do these things. I don't do these things. I go to uni in Manchester, which one you don't need to know, but I go to uni in Manchester. I'm gonna say I a lot in this video, but a lot of these stories are not even me. Please remember I'm not referring to anyone. If you feel this applies to you, ask yourself why you're feeling that way. Ask yourself why you're feeling that way. Don't, don't come for me. Ask yourself why you are feeling that way and sort it out. So I'm gonna say I, we, she, he, but you don't know who they're referring to. Don't assume it's about you because it's probably not about you. If it is about you, you need to sort it out. You need to sort that out before you move into your next place. Let's just say Manchester's great. Let's not even lie, Manchester's a better London. Sorry to all the Londoners out there, but it is true. There are some traumatizing things that happen at uni and it's not like traumatizing, like, oh my gosh, I'm scarred for life. No, it's just stuff you've never seen before happens at uni because everyone's going a bit wild because it's their first time away from home for a lot of them. They have no home training. Their parents used to do everything for them. I asked around, what are the most traumatizing things you experienced at our uni? Other people replied, but I only wanted unis in Manchester. Let's just say, there's a little spice to these, okay? It's not okay. Let's start with accommodations and things like that. A lot of people tell me stuff that they saw in their accommodations. Now, I lived in a flat with six people. I'm happy with the people that I live with. A lot of them were nice, a lot of them were normal, a lot of them didn't speak, that's fine. That's fine by me, as long as they're minding their business, no one's hurting anyone that's cool with me. The only problem I have is cleanliness, okay? All I need is for you to keep clean, I keep clean, that's it, we stay out of each other's way. I'm going to tell you guys, do not leave your tea towel everywhere because everyone will use it and you don't know what they've used it for. You'll leave your tea towel nice and clean and dry on the side, hanging off the oven, you know, on a little handle. You'll come back two days later or you'll come back in the evening you'll come back three hours later and it'll be soggy how where where did that sogginess come from i want to know that's what i want to know now i come back and it's soggy the only person that's been in the kitchen is you why is it soggy i don't even like my socks being wet let alone something that i use to keep my stuff clean i came into the kitchen once everyone was out i had just woken up or something everyone had their uni lectures going in to make my breakfast i see someone is defrosting chicken on my tea towel oh my god everybody stay calm what's the procedure everyone calm. what's the procedure stay calm wait, 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 wait. everybody you're Defrosting chicken on my tea towel. Can you imagine? Not even in the packet. Whoever it was had taken out two chicken pieces, let's say chicken pieces, put it on my tea towel and left. I stopped leaving my stuff everywhere that day. Know your boundaries. Know who you're living with. Would you do that at home? I hope you wouldn't do that at home. This is why you can't eat at anyone and everyone's places. If you're gonna be using someone else's stuff, let them know. Because if they've asked, nine times out of 10, they're not gonna use it for something horrible. You can't always trust everyone. So some people I would say no to. Most of the time, I live with flatmates that were genuinely clean. Except our kitchen. Our kitchen was a bit disgusting from time to time, not gonna lie. If you're gonna use other people's stuff, just be courteous, just be kind. There was one person that I live with and every time that you use something of theirs or it was like you just took a spoonful of sugar, they would put in group chat well three days ago you used a quarter teaspoon of my sugar so that means i get a quarter teaspoon of sugar from you don't be that person don't be that person people will use your stuff and don't be one of those people where it's like well you used a quarter teaspoon of my oil i need to use a quarter teaspoon of your oil for it to be even and you owe me 54p no no don't be that person yeah just don't get hurt by people using your stuff because you will never know peace just move on with it because you will never know peace if you just get hurt by everyone using your stuff if it gets out of hand just don't take it too far if you're going to be using other people's stuff just don't take it too far you're living with other people six other people or five other people some people will even live with 11 other people thing with student accommodation the walls are too thin that needs to be sorted out and the next whatever student accommodation is built next whoever's going to be building that whoever's watching this please make sure the walls are thick because you hear too many things going on as crude as this sounds you are all adults now you are all adults now the walls are too thin for you to be moving mad the walls are too thin for you to be doing x y and z tom dick harry jeremiah please remember the walls are thin the roof is thin the floor is thin people can hear everyone please just keep your room clean there are rooms that i walked into Food everywhere, all over the floor. I know people are going through stuff at uni, but the floor was disgusting. There was pizza on the floors, blah, blah, blah. You should not be leaving your room in a state that if your parents walked into, would you be proud? Would you be okay with your parents walking into that room? Unless you live like that at home, would you be proud of your parents walking into the room looking like that? No, you wouldn't. You would be ashamed. You would be ashamed. Just because you live at uni doesn't mean you need to live in a dump site, okay? Clean up after yourself. You'll feel so much better once you do it. There are way too many flats that I saw that were disgusting. Like there was mold growing in the sink. There was spaghetti left from like three, four days. People couldn't even cook in their own kitchens. That's how disgusting it was. People couldn't cook in their own kitchens. There were bin bags piling up for days and days on end. Are you okay living like that? Are you actually okay living like that is that is that how you live at home 
is that how you live at home? There should be a red flag or something that goes off in your head and says, okay, I shouldn't be living like this. You should be cleaning up after yourself. That's disgusting. There are so many flats that I went to that were like that. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. There was one kitchen that I walked into. It wasn't an unclean kitchen. It was a normal kitchen. I was going to get, I say I, but I'm just referring to a story. I was going to get one of my friends from another flat. Let's say that. I walk into the kitchen and these people are sitting around their kitchen table, community table, whatever you want to call it. And they were just like sitting there and it was like a Tuesday night or something. Do you do on your kitchen tables? Is that what you do? You guys do that at home? There were people sniffing <laughs> on a Tuesday night. <laughs> on a Tuesday night. That is not okay on any normal night, but a Tuesday night. Most people have lectures on Wednesday mornings. I didn't, as I've said before. That's not okay. Any night that's not okay. Is that okay in your house? Do what you want. I'm not, I'm not here. I'm not God. I can't judge you. I walk in and these people are so casual with it. They're just like, hi, you all right, blah, blah, and just, <laughs> I'm actually scared thinking about all this stuff again. Uni parties. So, well, now Corona's happening. You probably will never experience this. There were too many uni parties where it was like, people would turn up unannounced. People that didn't even go to the uni would turn up unannounced. You've just got to understand that uni, you can't keep track of everyone who's at your party. So if you are going to have a party, you need to be aware that your place is probably going to get trashed and that's going to be on your deposit, okay? There was this uni party that I walked into. I don't know who it was. Some person, some random person is drinking out of every single bottle on the table. Now Corona's going on. You probably, whoever you are, whoever that was, I don't even think you went to the uni, whoever that was, please i'm hoping you understand that that's not okay especially with corona now i hope you understand that's not okay it was during freshers week so everyone is already moving mad there are so many germs being passed around and now you want to drink out of every single bottle that you see on the little counter that's not okay that's so traumatizing i was looking and i was like is no one else seeing this and i knew only about two people at this time but i was looking i was like does anybody else see what's going on this person is drinking out of every single bottle on the desk i even saw my wine bottle sitting there and it was empty that's why i left it there you never leave your drink unattended okay everybody knows that but i left my empty bottle there and whoever it was tried to drink out of it it is the first week of uni i know your student loan has just dropped you have money in your bank account i know you have money in your bank account why are you not just buying your own drink if you're really that desperate just buy your own drink i want to call it i think it was accommodation they call it crack den central that's where all the madness happens that's where all the people that do blah 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 <laughs> all go i don't know why they just all end up there for some reason i had two friends that live there they only lived there for like a month and a half these flatmates that they had they had about 10 people in their flat something ridiculous they experienced racism in their flat firstly wrong and the uni did nothing about it they moved they just moved them they didn't actually deal with the flatmates nothing these flatmates would have afters till about 8 a.m even if they had lectures in the morning 8 a.m two different djs in the same flat playing drum and bass all night people passed out on the couch from close to overdosing on things that's not a normal that's so that's scary surely that would be a wake-up call for you to stop traumatizing now the same girls that lived in this flat that had to move up because of racism they were getting their stuff vandalized people were using their stuff if they were cooking they'd accidentally cut their finger open put the knife back in their drawer you can see how disgusting that is you wouldn't do that at home there are three types of people at evening party people that go to have fun people that go to stand about and the people that go just to find someone the first person the person that goes to have fun you are great we love you we need more of you you go you socialize you talk to people we love you keep doing what you're doing the second person the person that goes to stand about why did you come why did you come if that's how you socialize fair enough you just want to stand about you want people to come to talk to you that's fine but if you go and you stand about and you complain about the party the entire time you did not need to come please go home just go home if you're not comfortable go home the third person that came to find someone why why their mission they go out they're hunting for people, boy, girl, whatever in between. You are hunting for someone else. That's weird, that's crazy, that's scary. That's traumatizing, go home. You did not pay 10 pounds to get into a club or pay 30 pounds for a Ray and Nephew bottle. I don't know how much Ray and Nephew is anymore. To go out and get rejected by everyone, just go home, it's not okay. There are people, there's someone out there for you. You're not gonna find them at a uni freshers party. You're not going to. People that took off their heels in clubs, you're scary, you're scaring me. You're very much scaring me. On the floor, it's literally splashing from the amount of people that are spilling their drinks. Remember, these are people that have come out of their home that let them do nothing straight into complete freedom they're drinking all they want they're throwing up on the floor and getting straight back into it that's what they're doing that's what people are doing at uni sometimes i don't know about everyone i'm not talking for everyone but that's what i've been seeing people doing you cannot walk around barefoot in a club please suffer through wearing your heels please suffer through wearing your heels please because you cannot touch the floor your foot is dark charcoal color after touching that floor one time you cannot keep your shoes off the entire night oh my gosh laundry 
that laundry room just find someone in third or second year that has their own house and use their washing machine circuit laundry whatever that thing is they're not going to wash your clothes properly you're going to have to put them through two three times you're not going to be able to do it properly or find someone that can get you half price those washing machines will not do anything for your clothes and it will take 10 17 000 times to dry and it's a waste of money you can't afford to waste that type of money on clothes washing machines find a second or third year to wash your clothes for you at their house it's way cheaper that's including the travel that's including them using their washing machine that's including you the labor of you carrying it back and forth to your accommodation to their house and back those laundry machines do not work circuit laundry will rip you off i'm telling you to clarify these are just the traumatizing things that i saw at uni the annoying things that i saw at uni the weird things that i saw at uni just people people having behavioral issues do you not learn these things at home that you can't defrost raw chicken on someone else's belongings do you not learn at home that you're meant to clean up after yourself do you not learn at home that you need to take out the bins do you not learn at home that you shouldn't be drinking out of other people's bottles at a party do you not learn at home that you should not be playing your music until 7 8 8 am on a school night i know you've moved out and this is your first time of freedom but please don't take it for granted there are other people that live in that flat that understand how you're meant to live fair enough it's your first week you need to go a bit crazy but this is two months in you can't be living like a slob but yeah if you enjoyed that video please give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe and all that good stuff down below i hope you guys keep coming back to my channel i'm going to be doing more videos by myself now because i've done actually quite a lot of videos where it's just like other people but i do like doing those videos so there will be other videos other people in it but currently i need to do more videos like this because i want to do more tips for youtubers and then i want to do more uni stuff as well but yeah if you've got any other traumatizing things that you saw at uni comment them down below especially if you go to uni in manchester where it's just a bit of a yeah tell me about it in the comments if you want to i don't really mind message me i actually want to hear a lot of these stories to be honest yeah i just wanted to rant about all the stuff that really annoyed me at uni and those traumatizing things that we saw at uni things that i've heard from other people please just remember to behave yourself at uni there's there's a certain level of crazy you can get to before it's disgusting but yeah <laughs> Why are there wasps trying to get into my window? Like, please leave me alone. I see through my filmed a video by myself in so long it's so weird like i like filming with other people so why am i doing this hi guys welcome back to my channel basically i'm gonna oh that was a bit fast i'm not gonna lie um um that was so east anglian <laughs> All I have to say is that um what else like comment subscribe all that <laughs> like comment subscribe all that good stuff down below and I'll see you guys soon I'm not like everyone else I don't sleep bro look that is me sleeping